back to the menu, let's review the menu help system. The help system consists of three sections, receive help, transmit help, microprogramming help, plus exit of course. These three sections contain all of the keyboard commands for the transceiver. Let's review the two screen receive mode help which displays commands available in receive mode. Transmit commands are fewer in number, and mo as most of the keyboard is reserved for typing your messages. Most of the transmit help is about answering the questions posed by the transmitter in various circumstances. The menu help system makes it easy to find commands you need when you don't have the manual handy. The third help menu, microprogramming, will be covered later. The game control uses the less than comma key and the greater than period key to control audio and decoder gain. For audio gain, use the keys by themselves. With the shift key, the keys control decoder gain. For example, we will now demonstrate reducing the decoder gain by pressing shift and then the less than key several times. As you can see, we have reduced the decoder gain from 30 down to 20. Releasing the shift key, we continue to press the less than key to reduce the headphone gain. Pressing the greater than key increases the headphone gain. If you want to change the default gain, simply press the G key to store the current values as the new defaults that will then be automatically loaded at power up. Reviewing the LEDs, beside the power LED is the tone LED showing the receive signal into the decoder. Generally you want enough decoder volume to see a lot of activity on this LED. The CWN LED is the output of the digital signal processing stage of the decoder. The CW out LED indicates outgoing CW to the transmitter. Finally, the Enable LED indicates if the transmitter is enabled at the current frequency based on your license. This LED will always be off outside of the 40 meter band indicated by the text SW listening in the status line. The escape key is a very important key to understand. It has several functions. First, if your screen goes black but the power is still on, this means three minutes have elapsed with no screen activity and the backlight has been turned off. Pressing escape will turn the backlight back on. This is a battery saving technique. If you are on some screen other than the main screen and the backlight is on, then escape will return you to the main screen. Finally, if the backlight is on and you are already at the home screen, the escape key will switch between decoder modes. This will be discussed later. In transmit mode, pressing escape will terminate all transmitter and microprogram operations and instantly return you to the receiver mode.